if you take the story and then you read this portion of the Bible from 1 to 8, there was a man born blind. And this man was being carried every day. The people that were carrying this man every day never got tired. If they ever got tired, they did not stop carrying him. They carried him every day to the gate of the temple. But when they got to the gate of the temple, they dropped him there. They couldn't carry him beyond the gate. They tried. But his situation or the laws around entrance could not make him go beyond the gates. This morning, I want to talk a little bit about gates. You know our convention is coming. So I want to talk a little bit about gates. Because the Lord has been ministering to me that many people, the reason for their being stuck in life is because of the gate. In fact, most people are right at the gate. They have been there for some years. They tried to go beyond the gate. They couldn't. So many years ago, my father in the Lord, okay, I'll say my grandfather now, Reverend Dr. Okbara <laughs> saw a revelation about me and called my grandmom of blessed memory and said, this child is going to serve God. He's going to be a minister. At that time, I was in the children's department or I was a young brother, kind of. And he said, send him to the secretariat for prayer. You, you guys know secretariats. So I went to secretariat for prayers and he prayed ministered to me, anointed me, and said, you will serve God. Today, that prophecy has come to pass. But that prophecy came to pass amidst many battles at the gate. You know, so many people just conclude that because God has said it, then it automatically must happen because the devil will go to sleep. <laughs> it's not like that. Oh. <laughs> it's not like that. Because there are gatekeepers in the spirit realm that we fight anything that wants to get in the gate. Listen, a gate is different from a door. Doors are in the building, attached to the building. Doors are, can be inside the house. Are we together now? But gates are always attached to the fence. Or gates are attached to the entrance of the city. They are outside the house. But until you access through the gate, you cannot access the doors. And this is what Paul said. He said a great and effectual door has been opened to him, but there are what? Many adversaries. I'll give you a little story here about our journey to Canada. I want to show you how powers at the gates almost stop me and my family from coming to Canada. Anybody can interpret it to mean anything, but I knew it was a gate. So I communicated to my wife and she entered into prayers. Praise the Lord somebody. You know that no matter how anointed you are as a pastor, you need to allow your wife to pray some prayers because God appears to be biased when it comes to, some, to women. <laughs> Hallelujah. So they've sent us, IROCC have sent us a message, your PRO have been approved and all that. It was in Ghana at that time. So send your 
passport and everything, and then we courier it to you. So we use DHL. Of course, DHL is international. So you send, you pay for pickup, and you pay for delivery. The four passports, inside, documents, everything, address clear. Everything was done. But listen to this. It's not hard to know when the gates are fight, is fighting somebody. You may choose to ignore it. You may decide to them, oh, it's not all that. Uh -huh. Are you getting my point? And you may choose also to engage spiritual engagement by prayer at the gate and you will win. That was it. So we send it, paid all the fees. Do you know, can you believe that we kept on waiting? How far is Ghana <laughs> from Nigeria? How far? What is going on? We waited and waited. We have paid everything. I was there. We filled everything correctly. Listen, please. We sent, an e we sent a mail to them. What is going on? We've been waiting. They said they've sent it. And they've sent it a long time ago. Uh -uh. We have not received it. <laughs> there was trouble over there in the office. <laughs> we, we were troubled. I'm trying to explain to you when the gate of a town, of a city, of a country refuse you entry. ROCC cannot stop anything. Are you listening to what I'm talking about? I am telling you the gates. Powers at the gates. And then we sent a follow-up email. We have not still received it. How can a mail from Ghana take over, over one month to come to this place? It was there. Time was marking. So they started checking on the other. They said, we are very sorry. We are sorry. Okay. And then finally, they, one day I woke up in the morning. I looked at my wife. I said to her, you are the mother of this house. I am going to fight battle outside. You fight the battle inside this house. I would, hello, hello. Did somebody hear me? Did I do the right thing, sir? <laughs> I said, me, I'm going to fight battle in church. Other people's battle. VG, prayer, family. You are the pastor of this house. You are the mother. You fight the battle inside this household. I cannot be fighting them. <laughs> it's true. Ask her. That was all right. I can't be fighting battle is outside. And then I'll come inside and fight. But no. No. The day you marry, you know you marry a pastor and a troublemaker. Spiritually. So fight the battle inside this house. And I went. She took fasting. That day she said she didn't eat. She started praying from in the morning. In the afternoon, the email came. <laughs> they said, we have found it. What happened? They, have, they apology, apologize. We are sorry. We sent it to the wrong address. No. I said, it is the same DHL parcel that we used to send it. We put an empty one inside that you should use to bring it. They said, we are sorry. We don't know what happened. Oh. I knew what happened. I knew what they didn't want me to meet you. They never wanted me to know you. They never wanted life center. So when look, when you are facing battles, you are not facing battles for nothing. The powers at the gate have seen something you did not see. Are you getting my point? Oh, you did not get me. Are you getting what I'm talking about? I'm talking about enemies at the gate. Every town has a gate spiritually. Every village where you were born, where I was born, have a gate spiritually. In Canada, Winnipeg, Manitoba has a gate spiritually. They sent, you know, all the, when I was reading the apology letter, it was what was in my hand that they found it. Okay, that is what I'm having. <laughs> you have you are found it. Okay, thank you so much. Now, where is it? <laughs> They say it's on their way. It's going to get to us. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. The day they brought it, it was opened. 
<laughs> it, you didn't get what I'm talking about. It has been opened. Truly, truly, they send it to the wrong address. Those people opened it. In sorry, you are, we are online. I, <laughs> I, I, God bless my country. Uh, I'm, not, I'm a Canadian now. <laughs> Uh, uh, for somebody to see four international passports with landing documents and he did not go and arrange his face to look like my face Man, and we know what people do are you getting my point? we know what people do and he did not go and arrange it, my two kids were babies so their face could have been any baby <laughs> are you getting my point here? to Iboma we all look alike <laughs> And they, something moved them to send it back. I said, no, it was somebody that was praying. Are you getting my point? It was somebody that was praying. Listen, that your life is like this today and you're, you have gotten some answer to prayer. It is because of the prayer you prayed yesterday. If it is not your prayer, somebody has prayed for you. There are no demilitarized zones in the spirit realm. Somebody, look, all this one, you, you, your children are enjoying life. And it, was, it was the prayer, you, you know. Uh -huh. It was the prayer. It was the night prayer, the day prayer, the days of prayer. Seven days, three days. Of prayer and soaking the pillow with tears and saying, God, you must answer me by fire. I'm combating the enemy. How was it that? How is it that it was the day she started prayer that the enemy lose grip? These are highly confidential documents that shouldn't be opened by anybody. The person that accepted it saw the name that was not the name. Why did you open it? You didn't get what I'm talking about. So they were already planning to do something else. But there was a power that said, no way. I will make sure these people go beyond the gate. I pray for someone under the sound of my voice. Every power that has kept you at the gate, I destroy them by fire in the name of Jesus. Today, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you will go beyond the gate. You will go beyond the gate. You will go beyond the gate. There is a gate called Spinsahood. There is a gate called Bachelorhood. There is a gate called Sickness. You will go beyond those gates. In the name of Jesus, there is a gate called Joblessness. Uh -huh. You will go beyond that gate. In the name of Jesus. God took us beyond the gate because we engage. Powers at the gate. This man was born like this. He had helpers, but the helpers could not help him beyond the gate. You didn't get what I said. The help, he had helpers, but the helpers could not help him beyond the gate. They carried him from his house. What is the distance between the gate and inside? But he couldn't enter. So much opportunities, but he couldn't manifest them. So much greatness, but he couldn't enter. Are we together this morning, sir? He couldn't enter. He couldn't. He couldn't. You will not die before the, your glory. Hey, you will not die before the manifestation of your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. What your eyes have seen, your hand will handle it. That good thing your eyes saw, your hand will handle it. In the name of Jesus. So many things you are celebrating now. Some time ago, they were prayer points. Sometimes I call my children and tell them, they come. The life you are enjoying now, it was my prayer. <laughs> uh, isn't, it, isn't it awesome that the life that these people are enjoying, uh, the life that these people are enjoying today was our prayer point. Father, remember me. It was our prayer point. Father, do it. How do you explain to somebody that was born in Canada how the other side of life looked like? How? It's like darkness and light. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Oh my goodness. When my dad and my mom came, we were driving. Any, coming to church, if we got to a stop sign, I will stop. And then I will move. <laughs> and we get to another stop sign, I will stop. My daddy said, why do you keep stopping this car? <laughs> 
why do you keep stopping this car? I laugh. I say, Daddy, look at that. It's been... <laughs> that thing, that thing <laughs> is dollars. <laughs> that thing, that fine, if that fine land on your ma- in your mailbox, oh, your anointing will wake up. <laughs> I said, Daddy, is that stop sign? Oh, that stop sign. You stop when you get to. Wow. And then my dad said, This country is too organized. I said, But now, what about now? He said, No, don't even mention Nigeria. We should redo that country. He said, We should redo it. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. But when the man contacted power, when the power of God visited that man, the Bible said the first place that man entered was through the doors. The power, when the power that kept him at the gate broke off, the Bible said he looked at the door of the temple and run, ran inside. He was jumping, he was celebrating. Before, people would come outside and be gisting, talking about what was happening inside. He would, he would be at the gate. Oh my God, I feel like crying. There are people in this life, they only hear things happening. It never happened to them. Can I pray for you? In the name that is above every other name, whatever you desire and the kind of life you desire, may heaven bring it to pass in your lifetime. May God bring it to pass in your lifetime. In the name of Jesus Christ. The gates. The gates. Peter said to him, he said, I don't have silver and gold. We, we normally give you before. But today, we don't have. I don't have. I don't know if John have, but I don't have silver and gold. But I have something. I have something. What I have, the name of Jesus, is greater and Higher than every other name. It is not an ordinary name. It's the name that is, is what? Full of power and praise. He said, that name, I use it for you. Rise up. Rise up. Who am I talking to? Rise up. You are rising. You are rising in the mighty name of Jesus. I have read this part of the Bible before. I have not seen it like this. But looking at this, I'm like, wow. So this thing, this guy was right at this gate. To where shall he be with every other one? Celebrate, go and dance, she bridesmaid, you know everything. But they never celebrated her own. They never celebrated his own. You are the next in line. Amen. Who did God send me to? You are the next in line. You are the next in line. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I quickly show you another scripture? Why I tell you that uh, it's very important to engage at the gate. Ezekiel chapter 11. Ezekiel 11. Ezekiel chapter 11. From verse 1 to 4. Ezekiel 11, 1 to 4. Moreover, the Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the east gate of the Lord's house, which looked eastward. And behold, at the door of the gate, five and twenty men, that's twenty-five men, were right at the, at the gate, among whom I saw Jeazaniah, the son of Azor, and Pelatiah, the son of Benaiah, princes of the people. These were not ordinary men. Princes of the people. Look at verse 2. Then said he unto me, son of man, these are the men that are causing trouble. These are the men that are devising mischief. Oh my God. He said, and they give wicked counsel. In this city, how can 25 people hold a city down? Now you see? 25 of them hold, held a whole city to ransom. Look at verse 3. We, they say it is not near. No, not now. Maybe good is coming to town. And they said, no, it's not time yet. Go back. Let us build houses. It's not time for them to build their houses. Stop it. This city is the cauldron. And we be the flesh. 
Look at verse 4. Look at the instruction of heaven. Therefore prophesy against them. If God says you prophesy against them, don't be holier than God. Are we together here? Don't be holier than God. God said prophesy against them. O son of man, prophesy against them. Look at verse 13. Look at verse 13. He said, and it came to pass, when I prophesied that Pelatiah, the son of Beniah, died. As I prophesied, they began to die. I know you don't like that prayer. Die, 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 die. You don't like that one. But don't worry. You will like the result. You know, I always say that. You may not like my prayer, but you will like the answer. You will like the result. You will like the testimony. Uh -huh. Don't worry. Let me pray the prayer. You say the amen, and you will receive the testimony. Hallelujah. As I prophesied, they began to die. Then fell I down upon my face and said, Hey, God, is it that you are going to kill everybody? Why did I prophesy? If God, you are, you are killing them already. God said, I am the one doing it, not you. You only prophesied. Praise the Lord, somebody. I pray for someone under the sound of my voice. Who is that person that needs to be removed for you to be elevated? Who is that person that needs to be dethroned for you to be enthroned? Who is that person that needs to be removed for you to be replaced and be put in that place? In the name of Jesus, I prophesy against them. I cause them to be removed in the name of Jesus. Ah. Jesus. 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 The gate is the place where blood is shared and transacted. The Lord was telling me last night. He said, those who live by the altar, those, he said, they die by the altar. Those who walk by the altar, they also live by the altar. Do you understand that statement? I said, Lord, I thought I understood, but I don't know. I thought that maybe as a man of God, you are walking by the altar, so the, the house of God should take care of you. He said, no, way, way beyond that. The gate is the place where sacrifices are made. Yes, the gates. The gates. It's the place where voices speak continuously. The gates. The gates. It's where spiritual custom officers are stationed at the gates. Where many people are stopped. You know, stop and check. Stop and search. Uh -huh. The gates is where embargoes are empowered. The gates. These 25 guys were right there. They were princes of the city. And they said, no, we are here. As long as we are here, we determine who goes in and goes out. The gates. The gate is where altars are empowered. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 13. He said, Do you not know that they which minister about holy things live of the things of the temple? And they which wait, wait, look at the word wait. Those who wait at the altar, they partakers of the altar also. Look at NIV, brought it home. NIV. He said, Don't you know that those who serve, the altar is a place of serving. That's why there are many people, they've been at the gate. They've been at the gate for years serving. When will they be paid? When will they get their reward? At the gate. The gate is an altar. Some time ago, God sent me to go to a particular market. It was that day I discovered that every market has a shrine where I was staying. <laughs> I didn't know. You know, we all just go to the market because back home in my country is an open market. You just go there and buy. It was that day I discovered that every market there is actually a shrine in the market. Oh, wow. Huh? 
Don't you know that those who serve in the temple get their food? So the altar, the gate is the place of food. Someone told me some years back. I, I told him, I said, come, you need to pray because this thing that is happening to your child is not normal. How can this child eat in the dream? And then he wakes up in the morning and his tummy is begin to where you take him protrude and then you take him for operation how many times are you going to tear this child body as at this time it was already four surgery done just because the child will tell you that he eat again in the dream and before you know it three days tommy is well is solo he's not, he said no 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 all those uh, all those eating in the dream it doesn't mean i said ah what is wrong with you this fifth surgery they lost that child. Don't take things for granted. No, don't trivialize it. Life is dependent on how you engage at the gate. It's a spiritual issue. It's a spiritual issue. You are too ordinary and too normal for the thing that is disturbing, your, disturbing you. Are, are you listening to what I'm saying? too ordinary and you are too you are taking it too easy you are taking it too easy get into the place of prayer things will change i say things will change remember i always say if there is a man to pray there is what there is a god to answer he said at the at the gate here he said food and though, and that those who serve, he mentioned serve again at the altar, share, they share in what is offered. The gate is a place of sharing. The gate is a place of offering. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Stand up to your feet. I want to stop here. I just sense the anointing now. I just sense the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Oh my goodness. Ah, yada baka shatala bayada. Keli yada baka tosa. Rosa teli yada gaba. Deko sata. What do they share at the altar? What do they share? Blood flows at the gates. There are many people that which they have prayed for, the answer has come, but the answer is right at the gate. They say, no, you are not entering. Some people's angel, it was, it, if, if, if the Bible, if the incident of what happened in the book of Daniel, if that, if that account was not uh, written there, we will not know. We will just be thinking that, oh, everything is easy. The man started praying and the first day, from the first day that he started praying, the Bible said his prayer was answered. From the first day. Wow. So it doesn't take God long to answer. <laughs> hey, Jesus. From the first day, heaven heard it, answer was given. But answer was not delivered. Are you getting my point? Answer was given, but answer was not delivered to his address. Why? Because there was what? A prince. There was a prince at the gates. Oh. There was a prince at the gate of the city. Oh, stopping him and stopping the angel. <laughs> he said, you are not bringing this thing to this man. The Bible said, he kept praying for another 20 days. 20 plus 1. 21. He kept praying for another 20 days. Let me tell you something. It is people who spend time, who are not tired, who don't give up in prayer, that finally share testimony. I hear you, sir. Imagine if I had just taken it for granted. Another, they will have enough. You, you, understand, you understand? That we will not get the document. And I will not know you. You don't know me. Listen. We are no ignorance of the devices of the devil. Maybe my wife I'm, would have said, well, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a geo wife, so I'm okay, we are okay. Our children will definitely go to a good school. Is that what we are talking about? No. We are talking about going to break territories. We are trying to go reach lives, reach the life of people. That's what we are talking about. Not uh, eating rice and, and never. No. We are going beyond. And whenever the devil sees that you want to break yoke, you want to cross boundary, he, he will fight. Are we together here? Yes, sir. 
Moses went to Pharaoh. He said, Thus said the Lord God of the Hebrews, let my people go. What did Pharaoh say? Pharaoh said, Who is your God? Don't you know me? I'm a God here. Who is your God that I should let Israel go? God in heaven started performing signs. So <laughs> a man looked at God and said, Who you be? That was when God said, Okay, I will show you. I think you you want to engage me. We will enter. All the signs and wonders in the land of Egypt did, did Pharaoh bulge. No, it was the last one that broke the camel's back. The last one, he killed the firstborn. It was when <laughs> Pharaoh now knew that evil death is God's messenger. Are we together here this morning? That God can use anybody, anything he wants to use. Send him and dead finish all the firstborn of animal of human being. He, he answered up. He said, Every, uh, "Go, just go, just go, just go." When he got to the when they got to the road, did he did, did he not pursue? He pursued. Uh huh. That's what I'm telling you. What if they had just relaxed and oh, no need? We have overcome. We are out. Oh, we are out. Oh yeah. Oh, just begin. In fact, they were rejoicing when they turned back. They turned to Moses, Moses, <laughs> Moses, you brought us here to kill us. And Moses said, God, what should I do? God said, don't worry, I will send fire. Pillar of fire went to the back. Are you hearing what I'm saying this morning? The Bible says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. But you must activate it. You must use that thing in you to engage. This world is full of wickedness. But you have life. You have light. Yes, the world is full of darkness, but you have light. Why do you keep quiet? You have the solution. You have the answer. So engage it in prayers. Yes, and you get victory. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. I didn't know it was Holy Ghost that was telling me that day. You would for not, for not see me now. Uh, I didn't know that it was Holy Spirit that was telling me to using me to tell my wife, say, come, you better pray. Oh. Can't I decide to pray the prayer myself? But I said, no, you better pray. Oh. And then she prayed and God answered that same day. What you do nothing about, God does nothing about. But when you engage heaven, heaven will intervene. Amen. Praise the Lord somebody. Amen. Are we ready to pray some prayer this morning? Lift up your right hand. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Thank you for this word. Thank you for this word. That I have received this morning. I have received this As morning. I pray now. As I pray now. Answer me by fire. Answer me by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spiritual gatekeepers. Every spiritual gatekeepers. At the gate of my destiny. At the gate of my destiny. And the destiny of my children. And the destiny of my children. As I pray now, as I pray now. I destroy them by fire. I destroy them by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of I give Jesus. you opportunity just one minute to pray. I want to see I how you pray. Them. Open your mouth and I do that prayer. Ezako pala bayada. Lebebebe ko baba kayada. Radedeke balukama epakata erazoge legagaba. Hey shada managa robo. Kodoso, Likanoga, Ebragado, Zilele Maya, Esaina, Makoba, Eliandoka, Irobalie, Ekema Manaya, Robo Lokoso, Baranieka, Elekadosha, Imanana Kadosia, Ebelebebekaya, Ebelebebeka Bayada, Ibelebokoso, Baruka Di, Malika Dosa, Ienoko Sahada, Etotototo, Etolobokototo, Iparanakasia, Ezwala. Bikarunaka, Elego do Godosa, I break a sutelebaka, Inago Solea, Erogoso, Likeria Gadaka, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. There's a prayer that the Lord has been putting in my spirit since last night. The Lord wants me to pray for anyone in Canada or that just arrived and you want God to say to you. I want to specially pray for you. You are going to pray this prayer. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. By the power of creation. By the 
power of creation. You brought me to this land. You brought me to this land. Oh God, my Father. Oh God, my Father. Settle me in this place. Settle me in this place. Settle me without tears. Settle oh, me Jesus. without tears. Settle me without tears. Settle me hey, without Kabaya. tears. In the name of Jesus. In the name Open your mouth and give you opportunity to pray. If this prayer is not about you, pray for the person by your side. Pray for somebody by your side. Don't close your mouth. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. As you are brought to this Hallelujah, land, Jehovah, you will settle them. Hey. Lord, everything that pertains My to the goodness. Alexa, everything I that pertains to the Kabaya Alexa, Jehovah, Jehovah, you Jehovah, you Jehovah, you will settle. Jehovah, you will settle. Ah. In the name of Jesus, Yellow you will settle. Jesus, you will settle Ezim, Ezim. everyone. You will settle Ezim. everyone. You will settle everyone. Ezim, Nadindu. Karobole Kayadaba. Eparuade, Lepua, Bababakuana. Let the Lord make way for you. Let the Lord make path for you. Let the Lord bring strength for you in the wilderness. Let this land favor you. Let this land do you well. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Let a good job come for you. Jesus, May your hand be directed by God. May your steps be directed by God. May you see that advert that we set for you. Eleko Bobo Kosa. Paradelia Kwane Kasa. Shele Kana. Ele Baboko. Erwade Kiele Gabaya. In the name of Jesus. In mighty name we pray. Amen. There's a prayer I want us to pray before I round up this morning. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. Last night, I was praying and the Lord said to me, I want to end unnecessary waiting. Amen. Listen, it is not every waiting that is God's waiting. Mm. There are some waiting is so unnecessary. Yeah. It's so unnecessary. The person has got up to that age to settle, got to that age to marry, and is just waiting. No. When you see the person, when you even cancel a marriage, married person, the married person, wow, you are so you are so gifted, you are ah, you are so wise. When you see somebody supposed to be working but no job, somebody supposed to have been settled, but the settlement is the, the life is just all over the place. It's unnecessary. Please don't settle for less. Amen. I repeat, don't set it's unnecessary. You must engage at the gate. You must pray and engage at the gate. Listen. The devil is not a native of any country. Mm. You did not hear what I said. I heard you, the sir. devil is not a native of any country. He is not a nationality of any country. He is all over. He is walking up and down. The Bible says he is looking for whom he will, he will what? Devour. He will devour. So he is looking for whom he will devour. And when he sees opportunity, he, he pounces on it. The waiting is over. Man. Who did I speak to? Who did I pray for? The waiting is over. Amen. The waiting is over. Amen. The waiting is over. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to ask you a question because before we enter this prayer, how many of you you are tired of waiting for a particular thing? You know, this in this particular thing. You are tired of waiting for it. You want it to happen now. You are ready? Yes, okay. Lord. Now, how many of you now that lifted your hand, you are ready to pray this prayer I want you to pray? I'm ready, Very Lord. seriously. Okay, now you are going to pray. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Every gatekeeper. Every gatekeeper. That has kept me at the gates. That has kept me at the gates. Unnecessarily. Unnecessarily. Every unnecessary waiting. Every unnecessary waiting. And every necessary waiting. And every necessary waiting. That does not make sense. That does not make sense. As I pray now. As I pray now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I stop you. I stop you. I break out. I break out. I move out. I move out. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, pray. Take a step from where you are standing. Move out from where you are standing. 
take a step from there. Kamalo Zabaka. Ye Kalabaya. Beregedosa. Landoka. Oh my God. Oh my God. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, all over this place. Ababa de, eye de ko, baba mi ku. Ya 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 manase. Every demonic sacrifice that are placed at the altar, that are be placed at the gate to keep you at the gate. I take the blood sacrifice of Jesus and I cancel their evil sacrifice. I destroy their wickedness. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hey! Break out. Hey! This mission is broken by fire. Yes. In the name of Jesus. I declare an end to that sickness. 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 I declare an end to that waiting. I declare an end to that waiting. Enough is enough. I declare an end to that lack. I declare an end to that want. I declare an end to that joblessness. I declare an end to that retrogression. I declare an end to that sadness. In the name of Jesus. Shout to the powerful amen. Go ahead. Shout it. Amen. Oh, yeah, Amen. Amen. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Amalia Dagashataya. Robo Kosolia Dabakata. I'm going to specially anoint everybody next Sunday. You know what I'm saying next Sunday? That's the leading I'm receiving in my spirit. I don't know why, but that's the leading I'm receiving. Why don't I just do it now? How many of you saw me? I was reaching out to the anointing. Area, but the Lord says stop. So that's why I stop. I don't, want, I don't want to do anything when the Lord has not asked me to do it. He says stop. So I took my hand back. And the Lord said next Sunday. Next Sunday. I'm going to anoint you. Oh my goodness. I'm going to anoint you. In the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Amen. I say enough is enough. Amen. Listen to me. If you look at me now, the life I want to live is the life I'm living. Mm. But there was some time ago, they know me. They know me right from when I was wearing short knicker. Mm. They know me. Right from when we were doing, we were going to house fellowship. And, I would, and the daddy, our, our pastor would say, Monday, take up the prayer. Today you lead us in prayers. That was not the life I wanted to live. But the one I'm living now is the life I want to live. You will live the life you want to live. Amen. Listen, there is a realm of eating what you, what you see. And there is a realm of eating what you want to eat. Are you, get, are you getting my point? Now, my wife will tell me you like enjoyment too much. Enjoyment officer, you just be. I'm, I'm like, if you had known my yesterday, oh yes, if you had known my yesterday. Now she's looking very beautiful. She has been beautiful, but she's more beautiful now, you know. Be, then she, ah. <laughs> okay, let's round up. Before somebody not, don't, will not give me food today, you know, I have to, <laughs> I have to round up. Hallelujah. You're, you, will, you will enjoy the kind of life you want. Amen. Sister Monica, you understand what I'm talking about? You need the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You need it to break that yoke at the gate. Amen. Come. Come, 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 come. Come and tell me. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When you are in an atmosphere like this, the network is high. 
Oh, it's full current. The network is high. You will live the kind of life you want. Amen. Ah, you will live the kind of life you want. Amen. What you, the life you dreamt of, and you are like God. That kind of life you will live it in Amen. the name of Jesus. Stretch forth your hand towards the altar. Just stretch your hand towards the altar. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus. Stop what you're doing. Stretch your hand towards the altar. Stretch your hand towards the altar. I understand. Instrumental, if I get you. Stretch your hand towards the altar. In the name of Jesus. As your hand is stretching towards the altar, you are representing every member of your family. Right now, I decree and I declare. Anyone under your wings, in your household, in your family, I decree right now, let them go beyond the gate. In the name of Jesus. Pala de kebo shandi alabayada. By the mandate of heaven and by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I move you and every member of your household go beyond the gate in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. And blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' precious name we pray.